Hello listeners, you're listening to 102.2 Rifa FM. My name is Fizan and today on Guest Gallery, I have a very special guest with us. She is the Assistant General for Foreign Affairs and Global Coordination and her name is Mrs. Ishraka Umar Ul Hassan and she's from Sudan and we are very glad that she could give us the time and she could take the time to come to our studios right now. So uh, ma'am, how are you doing today? I am Ishraka Umar, feeling well, alhamdulillah, because I will sit uh, or I will be in among a Muslim uh, sister and in Pakistan Alhamdulillah okay that's good so ma'am for how much time have you been affiliated with the International Muslim Women Union since I was established okay. in 1996 in 1996 okay so how was your experience in the International Muslim Women Union actually they are established since uh, organization after we are coming me also we are coming from Kin uh, international forum for force uh, women conference because they are uh, need to gathering muslim women to establish this uh, muslim group for guiding and to be in group for uh, to face any challenges together okay so uh, could you tell us about the achievements of international muslim women union like uh, what has the international muslim women union achieved and for how much like you told us that it has been working since 1996 yes we have actually now since uh, established up to now we have uh, 47 branches mm -hmm. in all the world okay we have a big branch and all the the first one it is held in Pakistan at the regional branches mm -hmm. in 1998 and uh, still yani, we are in plan for opening the branches in all the world and we have uh, so many uh, objectives like to be uh, the women for uh, the enhance the activities they are uh, to be uh, shared with the man in any field and it, it is be also to be to play role for to participate in uh, so many international conference because we have in ECOSO the special status and we are also for uh, to be high in level uh, standard for life like that okay well we wish you best of luck for that and uh so the next question that I'm going to ask you is how do you see the standard of Muslim women in previous times and nowadays because you can compare and you can elaborate that there is a lot of difference between the women's status before some time back and right now and nowadays. So how do you compare these both of uh, the standards of women in uh, the past and right now? Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, the example in Sudan, hmm. the women, they are, uh, they have uh, you know, good rights they have rights for uh, like we have uh, 25 percentage from uh, the women in parliamentary they are uh, five also women as assistant of the president mm -hmm. now they are uh, so many in uh, high uh, yani educated or uh, university they have also they are uh, so many as the ministers like for health and uh, social welfare like that. Okay, so uh, you came to Pakistan and you visited the flood affected areas. Could you tell us about your experience and how was your visit in the flood affected areas? How are the condition of the people there? So mm. could you tell us about that? Actually, I came three times to Pakistan. One for establish the organization, the International Muslim Women Union at the regional branch. I came also for attend the conference for Jama Islamia. And now, this time, I think it is very for happy time. And uh, I need this uh, reason. I came with a delegation, Sudan delegation. They coming from Sudan for uh, to provide all kind of muasa or ambassadors to this Pakistani people huh? in this Iptila or Imtihan, Alhamdulillah. In this, it is exam for all the Muslims in, in all the world. It is not exam for the Muslim in uh, Pakistan, Muslim only. And they will uh, verify the uh, donation from uh, my president, Omar al-Bashir. 
1 million dollar alhamdulillah and we are also provided to airline with full uh, supply food and medicine and this with five doctors and we need also to continuously we will uh, send it also a donation uh, for a rehabilitation building and this and this see i was i uh, visited this uh, affected areas i will find alhamdulillah the their uh, spiritual it is very as a psychological it is good alhamdulillah they believe this qadar but uh, see they need it also and i will see and uh, how the this center found the was khidmat foundation they have a big job alhamdulillah they working for allah and uh, they voluntary people for in so many kind of field like in bima like uh, this uh, provided uh, food yeah? prepare this food for them and they are very yani alhamdulillah oh hada min from allah they give him madad for taqa to do this uh, job it is no easy to do it without good yani alhamdulillah iman okay and uh, they are uh, discuss with uh, my this uh, sister here in international muslim women union especially for to future plan for to make uh, to bring yani alhamdulillah fundraising from other countries at the tour inshallah and we are uh, helping for rehabilitation and to provide them projects but uh, and now it is very good yani uh, their health it is good alhamdulillah this is very important and only and they were for in um, charsata they start uh, school yani alhamdulillah this ni'ma kabira yani and they are also bring it for uh, the children play play games and they, they are be in multan i think it is good now than before okay So I would like to tell the listeners here that more planes uh, fully equipped with medical equipment and food they are going to come to Pakistan real soon from the Sudanese government and on behalf of Pakistani people I would like to thank Mrs Ashraka for visiting the flood affected areas and coming to Pakistan to help their brothers and sisters and in this time of need So ma'am I would like to take your final message about Rifa FM and its work and its dedication to start an Islamic radio channel to promote the Islamic culture to promote the Islamic values what do you think about the Rifa International University about the 102.2 Rifa FM what do you think about this Islamic University and how they are working dedicatedly to promote Islamic culture as well and with the modern studies as well so I would like to take your views on that topic as well Yeah mashallah I was uh, so proud about this uh, international university Rafa because see, in uh, our projects in international muslim women we have network for uh, the muslim women as a scholar um, international scholar center and we have also by Pfizer for the media we have a network to establish yeah mid international the muslim women in media also at the network i hope we are and also one for muslim business women and i hope you know the all the this they take uh, the experience for this international university in rafa to be yani the are uh, start all the media here for to be a member in this and to do the conference for this muslim media in this place inshallah and i will also hope to study in this uh, yes you're most welcome to study here in refine international university So thank you very much for giving us your precious time. This was Mrs. Ishraka who is the assistant general for foreign affairs and global coordination. You listen to Rifa 102.2 Rifa FM and this is Fazan Khan signing off from the studios of Rifa 102.2 FM. Thank you. Bye-bye.